Hi guys, welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're one of my subscribers. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. So if you're not familiar with my channel and uh, my 370Z build, um, I've been getting a ton of parts. I haven't unboxed everything that's come because there's been a bunch of little small stuff that I know you wouldn't care about. Um, but got my final boxes from RJM. Um, today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday where Bobby is coming in. These videos that I'm gonna be posting are going to be late because I'm going to edit a lot of them tonight. I'm doing a bunch of other videos as well. So they're all gonna be scheduled out for the rest of this coming week. And I'm also gonna be recording the entire Whipple Supercharger install. So it's gonna take some time for me to do all this editing and get everything posted. So there's a lot more content to come on my channel. So please hit that subscribe button. So one of these, I believe it's the bottom one, is the torque converter, at least I believe it is. Um, this box, I believe, is the intake tubes, but I'm not positive on what's in what and what was sent. Um, but there is a ton of stuff. This wasn't well taped by FedEx. So what's funny about FedEx is they keep doing this to my house. Oh yeah, it is a lot of stuff, wow, okay. Um, so FedEx keeps screwing up and it's not Bobby that's shipping stuff. He ships stuff via um, FedEx and USPS and other companies send stuff as well to my house and FedEx just keeps screwing it up and they will, so some of the stuff that got shipped from California and Texas as well as this box right here that's not from RJM, FedEx keeps screwing it up and they, they add this other label that's not my address to that that's actually to um, a restaurant that's like a block, a few blocks away, which is really weird. So here is the K9 and filters for the intakes, which these are different than the ones that I have on my car now. Um, will I use the ones on my car now or will I use these? I'll probably use these, obviously, because they're new. But um, I might attach these intakes to my still in cold air front intakes temporarily until I can come up with um, a larger piping. So I believe this, we'll find out. I'm gonna just open boxes. There's tons of different boxes in here. Some nuts, bolts. I wanna be careful not to damage anything when I'm opening these because I don't know what is in each box. It's just a ton of stuff that either didn't come with the kit. Yeah, so this is the damaged piece that's no longer damaged. Uh, I'll get it out of there just to show you. Oh, and bolts. So here we have the nice and now shiny non-damaged piece with my lovely number two and my name engraved in it so that is my official like proof that i am the second order aside from the zero zero so technically i'm the third one that's fully paid for the kit um but with that said put this back in here i'm putting everything back in the boxes that way everything is where that bobby bobby sent it with that way there's no confusion when we're putting this thing together what everything is and where it is so the next thing is more bolts um two an fittings i believe these go on the back of this we've got some hosing hoses um, just padding, not sure. I believe this is the, oh, I'm pretty sure this is the pulley. I don't know if I want to open this. He really wrapped this. Wow. Okay. Well, he really wrapped the heck out of this. I believe this is the pulley. Um, don't, don't quote me on it though. <laughs> it's like a little kid. I'm like, Opening a Christmas present, going, what is in it? Uh, yeah, so this is my uh, pulley. I believe it's, uh, I don't know how much weight this is. It's not heavy. 
Uh, um, but I'm I'll, I'm only in this stage one. Yeah, so I'm only in the stage one supercharger. But oh wow, that's so cool. So full billet. This is where the pulley goes on. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. Um, completely billet. It's hard to see, but there's little ridges in there. There's little ridges all over that to hold the belt to prevent belt slippage, which is an ingenious thought. I mean, that thing is awesome to come up with those extra little tidbits to make sure that you're not going to run into belt slipping issues or anything like that. Um, what's great about the Whipple Supercharger is down the road, if I want more power, all I do is just put a smaller pulley on it. All right, and then the last box is Vibrant Performance, which I believe this is the intakes. Yep, so here's my, here's my two intakes, which the beauty of these is I specifically asked to have these added those are uh, 8, N, 8 AN fittings. And I did that specifically because unlike other people and other builds, I have what they call true catch cans. My catch cans are different than a lot of other people that buy these kits that have just a, a metal container with an air filter on the top of it for air to come out and the oil to catch. I have true catch cans that the oil comes in, hits a filter, and then the just air flow goes out. So it sits in there and the flow needs to go back into the um, intakes or intake manifold. So that's why those are in there. And it's definitely a lot better than doing the other catch cans, but I I'm sure they all work. I just don't want any dirt, any debris, any nastiness that could possibly get into the engine to get in there. Um, I prefer it to be sealed. And plus, I want my engine bay to stay clean as, as much as possible. Mind you, I know I'm cutting the hood in a little while. <laughs> but let me put this over here. The next thing we're going to open up is going to be... Da, 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 da. Let me put these bolts there. Move this out of the way. This right here, which is really heavy. Uh, this is their torque converter. Man, that's heavy. Yeah, it says heavy, heavy, <laughs> heavy parcel, lift carefully. And I'm like, I can understand why. So this is the RJM transmission. I mean, not transmission, torque converter. They also make a transmission for the 370Z. Oh, wow. Okay. It, it's not just the transmission. So here's the belt for the Whipple. And here is, oh, this is gonna be heavy. Here is the torque converter. This big old thing is the torque converter. Uh, yeah. So that is everything in these boxes from RJM. Now, the next thing I have, which I could do a separate unboxing for, but I'm not going to, is there's a company that is, I forget the name. Um, if I get a chance, I'll put um, where I got it from in the description, but I got a custom A-pillar for the car, um, for the gauges. I, I like my car looking as stock I know, right? That sounds weird. I like my car looking as clean and stock as possible. As in like what stuff I do to my car, whether it's subtle or not, I want it to look like it's meant to be a part of the car. I don't like things that just like stand out that look out of place. So there's those gauge pods and stuff like that, that you can tell where the pod things were screwed in over the A pillar. I didn't like that. I want a clean look. So this is one solid A pillar, which I am about to get. Oh, oh wow! I'm about to get tons and tons of the popcorn all over my living room just to get this out. Oh 
Oh my god. I, I, I love the popcorn that it does protect things, but at the same time, like, if you overkill it, it's just a pain. Because, look how much popcorn this is. I, I don't, you can't see it all, but I'm trying to do this. And it's just popcorn all over the place. Look at this. Look how much popcorn is all over. And the box is still full. So all for this little, little itty bitty, if I can even find where the tape is to, to do this. Because I do not want to damage this. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. That is so Oh, beautiful. I kind of want to like install this now. That way it doesn't get damaged, but eh. This looks so cool. So this will match my stock interior perfectly. Or almost perfectly. This looks a little bit darker than my stock ones. But, as you can see, it's going to go on my dash like this and then I have the two gauge pods. So the two gauge pods. So whatever color this is, this black, I'm going to paint my um, nav setup that I'm going with. The What do they call that? My... can't think right now. My Workshop 12. Uh, tablet conversion for the dash. I plan on painting that this same, this same matte black. That way everything is tied together. But as I'm trying to rewrap this, um, I want to just thank you guys for watching. If you watch to the end of this, um, and hopefully this build goes well. It's going to be interesting. Um, other cars have had some small issues in that. Which can happen, um, this is new. No one has ever really done a Whipple Supercharger on a 370Z until Bobby from RJM. So th these are the first cars that are getting this kit installed. So please bear with me and the company as a whole because it's, it's not just a you slap it on and it runs. It might take a little bit of tweaking, um, tune it properly and everything else, which Right now, I don't have the funds to do the tune that I want to do. I want to go Ecotech with it, with it, and right now, I have UpRev. UpRev is what the actual car, um, which RJM provides, is he provides a baseline tune for your car. That way, you don't have to necessarily worry about it right away. It, get, it allows you to basically turn the car on and drive it like, you know, 20, 30 minutes. As long as you're not dogging the car and abusing, abusing it while you're driving it, you'll be fine to get it from your house to like 30 minutes away to a shop to do a proper tune. So my issue is I don't have the extra, what I want to do with Ecotech with everything that I need and the sensors I need and everything else is almost a grand. And then another tune is another anywhere from $600 to $1,000. Or um, I might have some sponsorship from California, Eugene that might be doing um, remote tuning as long as I buy all of the Ecotech stuff. Because this is, this is a one of a kind thing. Um, there'll be more people that are gonna be doing this in the future, but for now, it's people are going to want to see the progress they're going to want to see the reliability of it and all that other stuff and that comes with time so please everyone be patient and you know let's see this happen and um again thank you for watching and uh please uh hit that subscribe button and uh check out my other videos um in the video description there's going to be a link to my playlist that playlist is specifically for the 370z build as well as my other things that i've been getting for the z so if you want to just follow that, you can put an alert, hit the bell on that playlist, and anything that I add to that playlist will alert you. So thank you, and bye.